Hello and welcome to Paul Outdoors. A window of opportunity has opened for me and I've decided to jump through it with both feet and take the opportunity to go and spend uh, the rest of the day in my local wood, which is about a 20 minute walk from the house and I'm also going to stay overnight as well and uh, have, a, have a hammock hang and see how my uh, winter hammock uh, kit actually uh, performs. I've used it before and it's uh, it served me well in temperatures down to minus five so I think it's going to be around about freezing perhaps minus one or two tonight so uh, you know hopefully it'll serve me well and I won't be uh, won't be cold I'm sure I won't be I can actually smell and I've got the top of the hill I'm about 15 minutes from the place I'm gonna actually spend the time um, or set up camp and I can smell the distinctive odor of Mr. or Mrs. Fox. It's quite a fresh, freshly laid scent by well, this sort of uh, the smell of it is quite strong. Um, even though I've got a heavy cold, so I'm going to uh, carry on now to uh, to the wood, and I'll join you uh, when I get there. Thank you. I'm near now to the uh, the entrance point to where I'm going to climb and set up camp and just wanted to say a few things about the pack I've got on my back it's, it's a 45 litre British Army PRI pack I've got one uh, side rocket pouch attached uh, 10 litres um, I've got a British Army camelback attached to the other side with a couple of litres of water in there to see me through the rest of the day and the night should be sufficient but there is a water source nearby if I need it and I've got my uh, Soya mini water filter um, but I don't think I'll need that in combination with boiling uh, probably got enough water on me so uh, I'm just gonna carry on right now there's a robin singing in the background a horse hooves on the road in the distance it's uh, it's a really overcast day in fact to say that the clouds are starting to clear now you see the sun peeping through but it is a beautiful day it's early February and uh, if you're wrapped up appropriately then uh, you shouldn't have any problems uh, and I'm certainly wrapped up appropriately in fact the pack weight I think is around about the 24 kilo mark and I've been carrying it now for about 20 minutes so uh, with all the layers I've got on, I'm starting to, uh, starting to warm up, <laughs> which uh, isn't a bad thing. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there for now and I'll catch up with you in about uh, 10 minutes when I'm in the wood. Thank you. Well, here we are now at the, uh, on the edge of the wood and uh, I'm going up into uh, the top part there, which is a spot I use on a regular basis, not as much as I'd like, but uh, here I am. There's a beautiful badger set just up here as well, which, uh, which is very used to me. And I've got some uh, some food to uh, pacify and appease them. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get some uh, whoops, get some uh, some footage. Some black and white faces later on. Glorious. It's uh, it's not an old woodland. It's not ancient by any means. It's uh, it's probably a a new woodland that's formed where ground has been left to uh, its own devices. There are some. It's a bit of a squeeze getting in. There are some uh, 
big oak trees however, remnants of uh, the older woodland and then we have quite a bit of scrub hawthorn and hazel which is lovely. So this is where I'm trying to set up camp, right here. use these hawthorn trees to uh, pitch my tarp and uh, hammock between and now I've got a nice view out right down through the little bit of scrub woodland and that lovely big oak tree and the open farmland so uh, I'm just going to set things up now and uh, I'll come back to you shortly thank you put my glasses back on before I smash them. <laughs> I turned around because I thought I heard voices coming up the slope of the woodland behind me, um, but I was mistaken. Here I'm opening the top of my pack to get access to the stuff sack that contains the DD 3x3 tarp, which I'm going to hang in a diamond configuration which gives me more coverage over top of my hammock. On this outing I'm using two 1.2 meter bungee cords to secure the tarp at each end on the long diagonal so there's no need for any knots, um, just wrap the bungees around the hawthorn stems and um, tension them accordingly. And then on the two tie down sides I'm using the supplied cord that comes with the, uh, the tarp um, when you get it from DD uh, Hammocks. I am hanging my DD frontline hammock using two 12 foot hammock tapes with a marlin spike hitch knot at either end to a carabiner. I'm going to be using the DD frontline upside down so I won't be using the integral bug net. Instead I will utilize a adjustable ridge line across um, between the two ends of the hammock which will give the hammock a bow or a banana shape. This will enable me to get a flatter lie across the hammock when I'm in it and a more comfortable sleep. I do use the DD front line sort of pulled taut so it's um, more or less in a straight line on occasions and it is still very comfortable but I prefer to hang the hammock this way and I'll show you more about what I mean in part two. Thank you. <laughs> 